Hi and welcome back to my channel. So this video today is a Canva tutorial for beginners. This video is going to be for those of you out there who may have heard of Canva, maybe you've tried to use it before, but you're not quite sure what Canva has to offer, and this video will help you discover that. So first, we're going to talk about what Canva is. Canva is an online graphic design and publishing tool that allows you to create many different designs with its easy drag and drop feature, free images, fonts, and more. You can save your designs in many different formats, share on social media, and more. If you don't have a Canva account, it is free to sign up. And I actually have a video where I talk about how to set up a Canva account from start to finish. So I will link that down in the description. Since this is a Canva for beginners tutorial, I won't go in too much detail about any one thing. I kind of want to do just an overview of Canva and just kind of get you familiar with what Canva is and how to use it. Canva is a perfect fit for everyone. I feel like most people would be able to find something that Canva offers that would benefit them. So right here on the page, we have three of the most popular ways that you can access Canva. You have Canva Free, Canva Pro, and Canva for Teams. So with Canva Free, it's for anyone wanting to design anything on your own or with others. No design experience required and it's free forever. You have Canva Pro. This is going to be for individuals wanting to access unlimited premium content with special tools to grow your brand or passion project. And then we have Canva for teams. For teams of all sizes wanting to create together with premium workspace tools and approval flows. And so the Canva free is free. The Canva Pro that is $12.99 a month or $1.19 per year. So now I'm going to log into my Canva account and get started. When you log into your Canva account, it takes you to your homepage. Your homepage has some suggestions that you may want to try. Your homepage also has your recent designs that you created. So right up at the top here, you can click on these little icons and it'll take you to some templates for these products. So if you're looking to do like docs or presentations, social media, you click on these and Canva gives you some templates that you can use to start your designs. You can also head up to the top here where it says create a design. You can also type in the search bar if you have a certain document in mind or pick custom size. So for this video, I'm going to pick presentation. In this first section of the video, I will be going over all of the things in the sidebar. So the first item in the sidebar is design. Here's where all of the templates are held. So you could scroll down and look at all of the ones that Canva offers and you can choose to apply it to your design. Or if you have something specific in mind, you can type in the search bar up here what you're looking for and then the options will be filtered out based on the one that better suits what you're looking for. So I'm typing in the word modern and I'm just going to hit enter and then I'll see what results come up. So as you can see, here are all of the modern templates. You can also click on these words up here at the top, which would also filter out the templates for you. So if you wanted to have all the templates that have some type of gradient in them, you would click on gradient. So templates are really great to use to help you get inspiration for your design. 
and they give you a starting point on how you want your document to look. Once you find a template that you like, in this case since it's a presentation, you can click on it and you can either choose a specific page or pages out of the presentation or you can click apply all 15 pages and it'll put all of those pages in your document. So here's what one of those pages look like. Once you've chosen the page or pages that you're going to use in your presentation, you can pretty much change everything in it. The next item in the sidebar is elements. So under elements, it has different things that you can use in your designs. So some of the elements that are offered are lines and shapes, graphics, stickers, photos, videos, charts. Now if you're looking for something within a certain category, let's say lines and shapes, you can just click on see all and it'll pull up all of the lines and all of the shapes that are available. Or if you have something specific in mind, you can definitely type right up in the search bar. And in the elements here too, it also gives you some options that you can click on to kind of filter out the elements. So you can click arrow or table, square, heart, money, whatever you're looking for, you'll be able to find it here. The next item in the sidebar is the brand hub. As a Canva Pro user, you can put in your brand's colors, your fonts, um, any photos or logos. So that way when you're designing something, you can access your brand kit at any time. The next item in the sidebar would be uploads. So you can add your own files to your design from various sources. So if you click on the three dots right here, here it shows all of the ways that you can upload files. So upload, this would be like from your computer. You can also upload files from Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram. The next item on the sidebar is text. So if you want to add text to your design, all you have to do is click on this button that says add a text box or hit the T on your keyboard. In the search bar here, you can actually search for fonts by name. So if you have a specific font that you'd like to use and you know the name of it, just type it in the search bar and it'll bring it up. And another cool thing that Canva offers are font combinations. So if you scroll down, it kind of gives you some options for different styles of font pairings. The next item in the sidebar is draw. In the draw toolbar, you have a pen, a marker, a highlighter, eraser. And with the pen, marker, and highlighter, you can adjust the color by clicking on this icon. And you can also change the weight and the transparency. I haven't used this at all yet, so I'm looking forward to using it very soon. The next item in the sidebar is projects. So here is where you can access all your projects, images, and implement them in the current design. The next item in the sidebar is apps. So here are all of the apps that you can use and access to enhance your designs. So this one up at the top, text to image, it says type what you'd like to see and watch it come to life. And there are plenty of other apps that you can use as well. If you know specifically, you know, what app you're looking for or you wanna see if it's available, you can just type it right here in the search bar. It shows you some of the popular ones like QR code, Google Drive, YouTube, Pexels, So I just clicked on the QR code app so you can see what that kind of looks like. 
and it says add QR codes to your designs. Perfect for business cards, posters, and more. Enter a URL and we'll create a QR code for you to add to your designs, which is really cool because if you hand something to someone and they scan that QR code, it can take them to whatever website that you linked it to. So if you wanted to use that QR code app or any of the apps, you would just click on it and click use, and then you'd go through that whole process. So now we're going to talk about the toolbars. So right at the top, we have the home button. You can click this button to get back to your Canva homepage. Next we have File. This has settings about your document. So the title, which you can edit by clicking on this little pencil icon. It has what it is. In this case, this is a presentation. It has your name and the size. You can create new design, import files, view settings, which includes showing rulers, adding guides, showing margins, and print bleed. You can save, save to a folder, make a copy, download, view all comments, find and replace text. With the resize button, you can resize the current document or you can copy the document and resize the copy. Now this is only available if you have Canva Pro. And so this would be beneficial if you have this presentation, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and say you wanted to resize it to be an Instagram square post, which is 1080 by 1080. You can either type in the custom size, your dimensions, or you can go down here and pick one of these. And up here, we also have undo and redo. In this toolbar, you can also change the title of your document without going to file and changing it. If you click right here, so depending on what type of document you are creating, this button right here could say something different. So if you're creating like printables or things like that, it'll say print documents. But since this is a presentation, it says present. And you also have the share button. When you click on this, you get many ways that you can share your design. So here again is the present button. You can also send a view only link if you want someone to take a look at it and see what you're working on so far. With the view only link, they can only view it. They can't make any changes to the document. You can click on download. And this gives you several options of how you can download your file. You can also share on social media. You can print your design. And more. So now we're going to move to the toolbar down at the bottom. So here you can add notes to your presentation. This right here shows you how many pages are in your document and which one you are currently working on. So I am currently on page one out of two pages in this document. And over here, this is how you can reduce or enlarge the size of the document on your screen. If you click this here, you can reduce and enlarge it based off of certain percentages, or you can fit it or fill it to the page. There's also a slider bar that you can click and drag to resize. This little icon here gives you the grid view, and you can quickly get to the other pages in your document. As of right now, this only has two pages, so it isn't crazy difficult to get to the other page. But when you click on this, it gives you a grid view of all of the pages that are included in your design, so you can quickly navigate to it. And these two arrows here are if you wanted to present it full screen. And another thing that Canva offers is a Canva Assistant. If you click on this button right here, you can quickly access anything, get recommendations, or search Canva all from this one magical button. So it gives you some recommendations on some actions that you can take. You can click show more, or you could also type something in the search bar. 
So this concludes the Canva for Beginners video. In this video, we went over what Canva is, who it's for, the price, and some of its features. I do intend on making another video that talks a little bit more about actually designing in Canva and certain buttons and features that are available. If you like this video, let me know by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.